Welcome, welcome, one and all, to Check the Bestiary, very best show to learn all about your favorite horror movie monsters and how to survive an encounter with them. Today's episode shall keep you right on the edge of your seat, as we're going into the freak show to tell you all about killer clowns. <laughs> Appearing in movies, TV shows, comics, and around the world in 2016, killer clowns have become a popular modern monster. Their ghastly pale faces and ghoulish red grins have sparked countless nightmares. But really, what are these creatures underneath all that makeup? Killer clowns are a far cry from the happy-go-lucky performers they masquerade as. These clowns are flesh-hungry beasts who use their disarming appearance to lure in unsuspecting prey. And when they attack, it's often with weapons designed to seem like deadly practical jokes. Acid squirting flowers, corrosive cream pies, carnivorous shadow puppets, laughing gas, almost any kind of slapstick joke that you can imagine can and will be turned lethal in the hands of these monsters. Ta -da! These clowns are sadistic and monstrous, but the way they hunt is really interesting. You see, the use of bright colors and the promise of something enjoyable and fun is nothing new and has a lot of precedent in our own real world. To me, the clown's behavior is similar to carnivorous plants. While these clowns will use bright colors, jokes, and the smell of popcorn to lure us in, carnivorous plants use their bright colors and the smell of sweet, delicious nectar to lure in insects. Once the prey is close enough, snap! The plant captures its meal and begins to feed. Which brings us nicely into our next segment of how you can survive a killer clown attack. With our first bit of survival advice, do not fall for whatever it tries to do to lure you in. Since the entire point of the clown's appearance is to draw you in and disarm you, not being fooled by its appearance is a healthy first step towards staying alive. But what if running just isn't an option and you've <laughs> got to fight? Luckily for you, killer clowns behave just like a carnival game. Killer clowns all have a weak spot and all you have to do is find it. But beware, not much else will hurt these guys. See what she's doing? It's not working. She's not hitting the weak spot. You gotta hit the weak spot. Just find the weak spot. Okay, she's dead. Okay. And to go along with the theatrical nature, killer clowns often even die dramatically. Once the beast is slain, all you'll have left to fear are the nightmares. Huh. But why clowns? How have these whimsical performers gone from smiles to screams? There's something about scary clowns. You know, that, that it just creeps people out. I think it's time that we talked about what really makes a killer clown scary. Personally, I think most people that fear clowns do so out of the Uncanny Valley effect. For those who don't know, the Uncanny Valley is a term used to describe how things that are not quite human can be very unsettling and cause a lot of fear. The term is often used in robotics to describe how a very unhuman robot can be described as cute and fun and not make anyone uncomfortable, and how a perfect copy of a human that is also a robot wouldn't make anyone else uncomfortable either. But if it's just almost there, not quite human, but it's trying to look, it's just, there's something, there's something not right there. Your brain is a mental backflip, freaks out, and you get afraid of it. Because we're hardwired to be suspicious of things that just aren't quite right, and it's unsettling to see a face that's made out of rubber. And it can be just as unsettling for some to see a big red nose, a smile that curls much farther than it should, and giant floppy shoes. So is that really it? Are we afraid of clowns because they have some features that are exaggerated or out of proportion? Well, that does explain a lot of the knee-jerk psychological fear that we feel from clowns, but this is where it gets a bit dark, because there is actually some real-world precedent of actual killer clowns. And I'm not just talking about the killer clown epidemic of 2016. No, I'm referring to a man by the name of John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy is often referred to as the real killer clown. He would often dress up as Pogo the Clown and entertain kids at birthday parties, festivals, parades, and charitable fundraising events. But behind this exterior of a harmless entertainer, John Wayne Gacy was a serial killer. Gacy was eventually captured and sentenced to life in prison, and he has long since passed away. But he stands as a dark and chilling reminder that sometimes the greatest monsters of all have very human faces. So that's killer clowns. Whether they're putting a smile on that face or tearing that face off, I'm sure they'll be entertaining audiences and horror stories with thrills, chills, laughter, and screams for years to come. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. And remember, sometimes the circus runs away with you. Bye. 
that for some cholerophobia. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more, you can click these links here on the screen. And if you'd like to make me happier than a clown, you can click here on the subscribe button. I'll see you later. You'll float too.